Oh my God, I'm actually in Sofia with the biggest rock stars in the city, in the country. Actually, globally almost, because he's a Chilean. We are here with the Intelligent Music Project, six acclaimed albums. Y you know what, we just need to talk about this. Are you guys ready? Oh, let's go, let's do it. Devon Adoramy, WeWeBlogs.com, Intelligent Music Project. We're, we're going to start from the very beginning. So you guys were set up by Dr. Milan Vabreski yeah. and um, Intelligent Music Project. Uh, I mean, it's a very confident name, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah, just like our boss. Yeah. He's a pretty confident man. So I'm going to start with Evo because you were in it, right, from the very beginning. And when he said he was putting this band together and calling it Intelligent Music Project. How comfortable were you with the name? So just to say in the beginning, it wasn't really the name yet. Uh -huh. That was the name of the production company of Dr. Brabuski. So when we formed the band, it just the, took the name of the production company. <laughs> ah, I see. And that was translated by the gorgeous Sabrina. Can you show how beautiful <laughs> she is? Thank you. So we're going to talk about how you guys all come together. I mean, first of all, you've got Stoyan, who from Kismet to Shamu Championi to uh, <laughs> water falling from the sky. <laughs> so you've got a Eurovision connection. But how do you guys all get together? C C Ronnie, mm -hmm. you live between Madrid and Bucharest, and but a lot of your gigs are here in Sofia. How do you even find the time to all come together? Well, um, since I joined the band three or four years ago, um, um, the band has started to play more and more actually we did like a three or four records already together mm -hmm. so uh, we just realized that we need to spend more time together right? <laughs> and that's why i moved from madrid to bucharest because it's closer <laughs> why not sofia i mean hey, that would be closest uh, because uh, yeah i mean mostly because my fiance is from bucharest <laughs> all right so love is keeping you in romania yeah exactly yeah i love that six acclaimed rock albums yeah. with a variety of lineup changes including people from Nazareth I mean you're from Rainbow Richard Blackmore and all of yeah. that white snake but you know Toto you've got guys from yeah. Toto who's Simon in Phillips. Simon Phillips Simon Phillips right yeah. Nazareth as well you've got um you've got some like re Stikes right yeah. somebody from Stikes yeah I can't even begin to them. It's like the rock and roll hall of fame of, of rock, yeah, yeah. isn't it? How, how does that work out in terms of input? It all actually starts with demo versions of the songs. We, the people in the band, usually do the demo versions. След което Dr. Milen Vravevski решава кой точно да покани и коя част от песента да изфили. And then Dr. Milen Vrabovski decides who to invite and which part of the song to do. Ah, smart. <laughs> very smart. You know what is also very smart that you have a young X Factor winner. Just just he's just a band member, right? Isn't it? Amazing, isn't it? So you're used to televised shows. I feel like I have a birthday. Today. I feel like I ought to put a tiara just right. You're like the Yeah. So when you were approached and says, "Okay, we would like you to join this intelligent music project." Yeah, actually he called me. Oh. Because we used to work together on another project back in the years and um, they invited me to sing a demo for a song from the album Sorcery Inside, I believe. Which was going to be sung officially like in the studio version of the song by Joseph Williams of Toro. And when they, say, and when they said that, I was like, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I'll come to do whatever many demos you like, yeah, you know, because uh, I love Joseph, I love Toro. I've, uh, uh, grown up on that kind of music, like when I was young, we used to listen a lot to Toto, Asia, White Snake, and I grew up on Africa. Don't take me away from you. <laughs> it's a great song, and it, and it was a great opportunity for me because um, I knew uh, some of the musicians and 
and you have good there. And, and me as a younger guy, I, I could always um, benefit from the experience that the other guys have. And I'm always a student, you know? No, no matter what I won in the past or whatever, it just, it's just a, uh, a television show. But the music business... So is, is Eurovision. Let me just stop you there. All right. Eurovision <clears throat> is also a TV show. And I think this is where good harmony comes together because you also bring something into the band, you know, as well as gaining experience from the band. We've got to talk about intention. So one of my, one of my favorite parts about it is it's never too late to set foot on the right path. All you need is a firm intention. I, that is a beautiful message. But tell us how it fits with the overall sound and, and the whole composition of intention. It's very easy because um, one, of the, uh, one of the most important things on the Intelligent Music Project, and it was one of the reasons why I joined the, the, the band. I was working with many musicians through the years. Um, rock legends and high level musicians around the world. I, I did many tours around the world and different continents and everything. But then when I when I was I was called by Dr. Brabeski to ask Slavin to sing some demos and try, you know, to figure out if we can work together. I was very impressed about the messages of the lyrics. Um, how there is not too many bands they can do that. They can fit a great message with brain music. The most of the times the people they listen rock, they think that rock music is just about to have fun and party and that kind of things. But then I found that there is something very interesting with this. And, and it's very easy for Dr. Bravisky when you write the music is to, to fit with a great message. Um, and, and in this case, intention, I think it fit perfectly, not just with the band, with the Eurovision contest, but also with the times we're living nowadays. Very hard for the pandemic, uh, for everybody, hard times, uh, very difficult times. Uh, so we're bringing this message of, you know, everything's going to be okay, but we need to have the intention to change and to step on a better place. Um, but do you think that translates through a child playing a video game? Do you, do you think that that was communicated to... Because I mean, because not everybody's going to get the press release. Yeah, but uh, anyway, you know, music is a universal. It has a universal message, so you can take it any any in any way you want. Uh, sometimes works for some people in one way, and for other people, it's working a different way. That's why music is a universal message. So you can take it like uh, as you saw in the video clip. There is this this, this boy uh, pretending to control one of the characters against the other, uh, or you can take it as, a, as I told you, like uh, it is a message of hope for the people. I took it as Stoyan on the drum kit, <laughs> kicking it out. I took it as Ronnie Romero with his long hair and his, you know, and his tattoos. That was what I took from the music video. <laughs> I've got to, uh, Bulgaria, BNT were the first to announce confirmation at Eurovision. So everybody in the Eurovision community was like really excited, like, wow, Bulgaria is in? And also, Bulgaria was the first to announce um, the song and the, the act. But we also know, I mean, Stoyan, you know this. You went from Kismet no. to Shambo Shambione. Kismet, Things no. change. The first song was Water. The, oh, yeah, water. yeah, yeah, yeah. The second song uh, and changed. The second, the second was Samo Champion. No, 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 no. The, the second uh, the, You had a second, yeah, second participation, but the song that was chosen in Bulgaria. Aha. Uh, on the second participation, yeah. you change the song. To change the song. Ah, it was some, uh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thing happens. <laughs> Things happen. So, is intention, could it get, could, could it have a different evolution? Could, could, could we get a different, is intention the song for Eurovision 2022? Oh yeah, of course. Definitely. Yeah, 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 definitely. And that's not going to change. It isn't going to change, no. I believe it, it, it's, it's going to change a, a little bit in the way that how the people going to see the live performance of the song, which is, you can, I can tell you, is pretty different from the video clip. And that's why we're going to play some shows around Europe to show to the Eurovision fans how this song is performed live and how it's going to be in the contest. Yeah. Right. So, it's but will it be different. revamped or it's just going to be delivered slightly differently live? Do you need to go to the show?
<laughs> well, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be in Turin. Finally, finally, because I, Alexander Petrov is going like one minute, one minute. Yeah, we're like going to be quick. <laughs> we're going to be quick. Unconditional is your new album. Yep. It's your seventh album as a collective, and that's coming out in June. Have you decided on the track listing for that? Is that is that set? Is that all ready to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're recording See, in December. That was December. a very confident answer. <laughs> We recorded in December, right? We finished the recordings mm -hmm. in December or November or something like that. And actually, it's gonna be it's gonna be released on my wedding date. Oh! <laughs> wow. Nobody knew that. Wow, that's exciting. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! And where's your wedding gonna be? Um, Where? Yeah. In Bucharest. Oh, yeah. I can call Taram and we can get crash it. I'm all ready. <laughs> Stoyan, this is like Eurovision number what? Four or? Number three. Well, we're number three with four songs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what advice have you given to your friends about Eurovision? <laughs> Actually, any. I speak yet. Here, um, Eurovision has a surprise every year at Eurovision. It's very difficult to give any type of advice that goes for you. Защото Евровиза се развива постоянно. Because it's constantly developing and growing. И so true, so. И е винаги в крак с най-модерното, с най-съвременното. And it's always up to date. Everything's so modern, so contemporary, so. А така че не може да се да се даде формула за успех или гарант за успех. So there's no guarantee to success or any formula, secret formula to success there. Важно е всеки да представи качествена песен на достойно ниво. What's important is for everyone to present a high quality song at a very high level. И да направи добро впечатление, както и ние ще направим впечатление, защото с нас заедно е един голям изпълнител и певец Рони Ромеро. To make a good impression which we will be delivering with the great Rony Romero with us. И как all the pressure on your shoulders. <laughs> Thank you very much for the advice. Как и останалите 6 членове от групата са също с много силно присъствие на сцената. And all other bandmates, they are so strong on the stage. You're going to see it soon. And one bandmate I haven't spoken to, sir. I'm you're going to answer the final question, okay? It's a good one. It's a really good one. Okay. The Eurovision slogan this year is the sound of beauty. How does Intelligent Music Project project the sound of beauty. <laughs> it's a very Miss Bulgaria question, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we will definitely be doing our best to present the Bulgaria in the best way possible. And I believe that the beauty of the song is in what we will do on stage. Е лоша, тя също е много красива. In но... no way do I mean that the song is not good. I mean, don't get me wrong, the song is beautiful. Но най-вече залагаме на живото изпълнение, защото в него намираме най-голямата красота. But we are relying most on what we'll be doing live on stage, because that is the most beautiful thing on earth. Ha, huh, Ronnie Romero, <coughs> I don't want to be in your shoes. We have been chatting with Intelligent Music Project. This has been such a fun interview, guys. Thank you so Evo. Thank you so much. And we are in Sofia. Yeah, we're gonna catch up. Follow Intelligent Music Project on their social media platforms. Are you guys on Pinterest? Are you on Inst your inst Instagram? Instagram. Right? You're, on Instagram. You're not on Pinterest? No. We're not friends anymore. What? Guys, we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Nina told me about Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs>